Can we get away with stealing? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. The heat of the summer can make people do strange things. Like sleep naked. The heat of the summer can also make people leave their windows open. You know what that means? That means it feels nice when you're spread eagle sleeping naked. Uh, I know, we're gonna sneak around and see if we can get away with stealing. That's what I was gonna say. It's time for We're Thieves, We're Criminals, We're Shoplifting Brainiacs. Ah, oh, who are we kidding? We're just kleptomaniacs. Welcome to the scene of the crime zone. And welcome to Emily and David Hill. Hey. What up, y'all? Oh, we actually were talking about this earlier. We want to do a timeshare thing. We want you to get in and on. Oh, we okay. We can talk to you later, though. All right. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay, great. Okay, this is a fun new Thanks game. For thinking of. Basically, no in every round, one of us four is going to be the investi investigator but, uh, who will be blindfolded over here at the podium, while the three of us, one of us will be the criminal who actually has to commit a little heist in 60 seconds or less. And then we're gonna have some alibis and the criminal has to make up an alibi all to confuse and try to convince the investigator that you didn't do it or somebody else did do it. They're trying to properly choose who actually committed the crime. Yeah, so the investigator removed her blindfold and then asked for the alibis based on the believability of the alibis and any physical evidence that the investigator sees, he or she will make the, what's it called when you accuse somebody? Accusation. Narking. Okay. All of that. Time Let's two. start stealing. Rhett, yes. do you know where you are? Uh, Earth. Correct. You're in the GMM studio. You're also the investigator for this round. The rest of you will have 10 seconds to look at your cards and memorize your alibi or read the crime you're about to commit. Criminal, when I say steal, you better get moving through this crime scene because you only have one minute to complete your theft. You may look at your envelopes now. They're finding out things. Time is up. Criminal, ready, set, steal. That's my pie, you pastry pirate. What? Bring it back. Um, 30 seconds. I heard of someone talk. Is that the little old lady from Pasadena? <laughs> well, that was quicker than I thought. I guess time. Rhett. You may remove your blindfold. Link, can I ask you to open that safe, please, so that Rhett may see inside? As there you, you can see. Mm, that's a pie. A fresh pie has been stolen off a windowsill. You may now go down the line and ask each player for an alibi and size them up for any possible clues. That's a messy pie. What is that, boysenberry? It's made with love. It's made with love. <laughs> I don't see any love on anybody. Love pie. Link, uh, did you steal the pie? I did not steal the pie. Why should I believe that? Well, I was making my world famous meatloaf and I burned it and uh, had to call the fire department. So you can call the fire department and check it out. <laughs> my alibi. I can corroborate. Yeah, they put out my meatloaf. The Burbank Fire Department. Put out my burning out meatloaf. Your meatloaf. Uh, can I see your hands? Yes, to be clear, you all don't need to hold the envelope saying your name out in front of you because Rhett does know your name, yes. Emily. Yeah? Did you steal the pie? I couldn't have because I was busy at Starbucks and because when Emily doesn't get her frappuccino, she gets a little cranky. Then what? Then what? <laughs> well. Just ask David Hill, he knows. You were busy at Starbucks. Yep, busy. David Hill, did you steal the pie? I did not steal the pie because I was busy worrying about what Emily would do to me if she didn't get her Starbucks in the morning. Mm -hmm. You're also exactly 6'3". I see myself as 6'4". Okay, <laughs> bring, bring your feet together. 6'4". Uh, you know what? 
I believe, and I'm actually basing this exclusively on the fact that very early on in the crime being committed, there was like a very intense jump or something that felt like something David Hill would do. <laughs> like honestly, there was like like a like a whoo, boom, like I could just see him doing it, like doing something weird with his face. <laughs> and so I'm going to say that I accuse David Hill of the highs. Will the real criminal please identify themselves? <laughs> hey. You're right, man. He yeah. launched yeah, yeah, yeah. over this it thing. It was amazing. And yeah. then he didn't have to touch the soil at all. Did he, he do got... something with his face? What was his face doing? It's like a Spider-Man little... <laughs> and on yeah. the way back, I... I think he may have um, hit a taint or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're cool. You're all right? Yeah, you okay? Ice pack, please. Oh, Your yeah. taint pack, please. is exactly okay. three... One. That means that David Hill, your mugshot will be posted to Instagram along with your crime. Everyone will know that you stole a pie off a of sweet Nana's window still. Yeah. How dare you, you miscreant. <laughs> Link. Yo. Have you considered incorporating a trench coat into your personal wardrobe? Because you're looking, uh, I would recommend it. It looks pretty good. You like the, you like the. Overalls with the trench? Yeah, you don't, know. Don't do that motion. <laughs> when you're wearing a trench coat, don't do that motion. <laughs> okay, you are the investigator. The rest of you have 10 seconds to memorize your alibi or read the crime you're about to commit, starting now. Sound of reading. Okay. Criminal. Ready, set, steal. Heavy cotton candy day, Daddy. I hope you're enjoying my sandy box. Brandy. There's three kinds of turds in there. Cat, woman, and other. Ooh, you're digging pretty hard there, champ. Getting your hands nice and dirty. Take a break, have a sweet mouthful. Have a sweet mouthful. You need your strength to dig. It's cool with me if you want to eat something you find in there. Find anything sticky yet? 20 seconds. Find my turds. Come on. Turd. Hey, hey, have a sweet mouthful. Why don't you Ten have a seconds. sweet mouthful while you're digging? Five, don't four, reject my gift. three, don't reject two, my gifts. one, time. Link, you yeah. may remove your blindfold. You can likely deduce that three pieces of buried treasure turds. have been no treasures. I see have turds. been stolen from Cotton Candy Randy's sandbox. Hello, Randy. Hi. Well, you were blindfolded. I took your phone and memorized your browser history. Respect, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you may go down the line and ask each player for their alibi. Okay, David, your eyes are watering. What is your alibi? I was at the pool, <laughs> cleaning up a number two I, I did. I was, I was at the pool, cleaning up a number two I did in the pool. <laughs> With what? My, my, my hands. Your hands? My hands. He's covering for me. I did the two and a three through five. <laughs> Emily? No, I couldn't have done that. Um, I was stuck in a tunnel at a McDonald's play place. <laughs> and because I get, I get really cranky if I haven't had my playtime. McDonald's play places are a great place to cry. It's true. Let me see if there's any dirt on anybody. Rhett, did you do this? No, I was at the podiatrist. <laughs> What's the problem? Bunions like you would not believe. I had to shave him down. It's true, I could send you a link to his wiki feed if you want. <laughs> I can't help but notice. Down there in between Rhett's feet, there is a piece of cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> We're just friends, I swear. They do, they give that out of the podiatrist. So was that planted there or did you not know it was there? Well, can I just say that there was a bit of a mad dash for a cleanup when the criminal returned to the lineup. Uh, things got strewn everywhere and that is how the cotton candy got in between my feet. Rhett, you did it. I'm accusing you if that wasn't clear enough. 
Will the real criminal please identify themselves? You could have just asked me to show you my hands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because I grabbed the Vaseline covered. I didn't even see that it was covered in Vaseline. I didn't even need it. I literally had my hands inside the envelope the whole time and you didn't say a thing. <laughs> I was like, he's going to fall for it. He's going to fall for it. Okay, Rhett, that means that your mugshot will be posted to Instagram along with your crime. Everyone will know that you stole buried treasure from Cotton Candy Randy. And I stole it from an innocent child. Hey, Daddy, you want to hear a sweet nothing? Mm, of course. I want you to cover me with lotion while we watch the classic sitcom Mama's Family. <laughs> hey, Glasses, you know when your wife said she was on that business trip? She was with me in Vegas. We were seeing Magic Mike live. <laughs> <laughs> you know, listen, guys, there's a lot of animosity between the two of you. This is something that has been going on for a while, and this is as good a time as any to tell you that I have actually procured a real licensed therapist to help you guys solve some of these relational problems that you've been having. And if you like the idea of seeing that, the therapy session itself, well then you should join the Mythical Society because we're showing the Cotton Candy Randy and Link therapy session. I'll be there too as well on Monday on the Mythical Society. It's assuming that we go to this thing. Uh, you wanna go to the therapy session? Yeah, okay. What? Yeah, whatever, I'm chill. I'm all about self-improvement. <laughs> I'm way more about self-improvement than you, it sounds like. No, all right, fine, I'll beat, do it. I'm gonna beat you at therapy. Let's do it. Emily. Uh-huh? You are the investigator. The rest of you have 10 seconds to memorize your alibi or read the crime you're about to commit, starting now. Okay. Criminal. Ready, set, steal. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, time. <laughs> Emily, you may remove your blindfold. Okay. Aw. Uh, Rhett, will you open the safe? <laughs> oh, Barbara! Hi, Barbara! Hello! Barbara Aww. had been dog napped but is now going back to the scene of the crime. <laughs> You may go down the line and ask each player for their alibi. Okay, all right. Uh, David Hill, did you uh, steal Barbara? No, because I was protesting a new Jamba Juice. You protested a uh, Jamba Juice? Like you don't like that juice? There's no meat. Oh, I see. I want meat. I get it, all right. Smoothie. Link, you got a real sweaty folder there. Um... Sweaty folder. Um, <laughs> did you uh, grab Barbara and put Barbara in the cage? I know what this looks like. <laughs> yeah. But you you need to think about it. I I I'm, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> anybody anybody could have smudged this and handed it to me. And Rhett, can did you steal your own dog? Yeah. Why would I why steal would you do that? my own dog? This is a hard decision, but I'm going to guess that the criminal is Link. Will the real criminal please stand up? Hey! Man, I failed! Why'd you throw my dog in the safe, man? <laughs> I couldn't say anything until now. You were just like, get this sack of potatoes out of here. <laughs> 
Because she wouldn't lick the peanut butter off my hand. She was overwhelmed, man. Okay, Link, that I was means... overwhelmed, too. <laughs> your mugshot will be posted to Instagram along with your crime. Everyone will know that you stole the hairy internet tainer's dog. I almost swallowed a key. <laughs> David Hill. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You are the investigator this round. The rest of you have 10 seconds to memorize your alibi or read the crime you're about to commit, starting now. All right. Criminal, ready, set, steal. Bring back my portrait! Who are you, Catherine Zeta-Jones? 30 seconds. <laughs> 15 seconds. Okay, David Hill, you may remove your blindfold. All right. And Rhett, if you could open the safe for us. Oh. You can see a priceless piece of art has been stolen, and you may go down the line and ask each player for an alibi. We're going to start with Link, your alibi. My alibi is I was doing some naked goat yoga. <laughs> was... And I'm not talking about the goats. You're about to say <laughs> Who was naked? Okay, okay. Rhett, what's your alibi? Um, I was shaving my Nana's back. <laughs> and you gotta strap in when you do that because it's, uh, it, it's an all day affair. I'm just glad you didn't say strap on. <laughs> speaking of strap on, Emily. Uh, speaking of strap on. What is alibi. <laughs> <laughs> all right, We're on so you. We're on uh, you. I could not have done this because I was busy dumpster diving at a 7-Eleven, but then I got locked in it. Um, but eventually someone found me and then I got a free meal, so. Will you kind of move like this, like you're going through okay. the ropes for us? Oh. Shimmy, more stepping, more stepping. More stepping. Yeah. Hey. Okay, fall back. Yep. Link, same thing, same thing. Okay, okay, I like that, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Rhett. Rhett, Rhett, your turn, your turn, same thing, same thing, yep, shimmy across. Okay, do the same thing, going back, gotta oh, come back, backwards. I gotta come back, yes, backwards. Wow, the agility. All right, I'm ready. David Hill, who do you think committed the crime? Link. Yeah, I don't even think anyone needs to pretend here. I think we all know it was Link. Link, I mean. Now, hold on. Do you know why it was you? Let me take a picture of this face that way. Oh, really? Yeah, you're a bit dusty. You're a, a bit dusty. <laughs> a bit, a bit you, you, dusty. You, you didn't a know? Bit dusty. You were like, you were like, I thought you were going to come back like this, but you were like, I'm like, yes. I, yes. I thought I got everything off. No, it's you dusty. didn't. I, hey, man, I'm not, I'm not a good, I'm not a good naughty boy. <laughs> I thought you had a shot at getting through there, and then uh, just a couple of steps in, it all fell apart. Well, uh, I think you're going to be the only person with two mug shots up on Instagram this time, of course, for stealing a piece of priceless art. I didn't realize that she would show up if we didn't summon her. Yeah, well, I think somebody, like it was like a proxy summoning or something like oh. that. All I know is I had a good time, and thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now, why don't y'all say, uh, you know what time it is? You, you know, know what, what time, time it is. is. I'm Cole McAbee, the owner and promoter of Pro Wrestling Union, here to show you two things. This brand new Carolinas Championship belt and the brand new shirt that my wife got me, the Cotton Candy Randy Savage t-shirt. And now it's time to spin the Will of Mythicality. Ooh, yeah, daddies. Yeah, I love it. I don't even know what to say about yeah, that. Yeah, what a bro with that shirt. 
Click the top link to watch us guess which household items are secretly money safes and go mythical more. All the hits in one place. Grab the now that's what I call mythical tea available now with all your other favorites at mythical.com.